Hi guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial over this makeup look right here. It's a very colorful one and I use the Urban Decay Electric Palette, um, a lot of the colors in that palette. So I'll leave it linked down below for you guys if it's still available. So I'm doing this look just because I'm gonna go all out. It's the last day of, um, it's my last day at the store that I work at right now. I'm moving, if you guys didn't see that video, I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. But I'm actually moving away um, and today is gonna be a really sad day so I thought I would kind of like brighten it up. I'm already getting tear eyed with like just thinking about it. Um, but I was, I thought about just brightening it up with my makeup. I'm wearing this really bright sweatshirt and so I thought I would just kind of do something that would you know, reflect the sweatshirt. I was kind of inspired by it. I'm so excited to be moving, have this new chapter in my life. Um, and I just wanted to come on here because makeup is something that definitely lifts my spirits and I feel better. Um, it just makes me like not want to cry as much. <laughs> so I thought I would just sit here for today and for a few hours and film this look for you guys. It's a very special look. And I know that whenever I look back on this video, I know that I did this look because truly on the inside, I'm really sad to leave, but I'm so happy to you know move on with my life and have this new chapter in my life hope you guys enjoy this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet it's gonna be a whole new chapter so I'm going to be moving a whole new lifestyle so if you guys would like to join that journey definitely click subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell while you're doing that it just notifies you when I upload a new video if you guys like to see how I get this makeup look then just keep watching so I already put my eyebrows on I carved them out and I also have already primed my face and my eyelids I want to use really colorful colors today um, just because I'm wearing this like really cute cropped sweatshirt today to where I want to like make it colorful so I'm gonna start off with just a simple like crease color and I don't want it too overpowering so I'm probably gonna go with um, a mixture of these two right here and just blend them out in my crease so we're using the JA30 brush I'm gonna need some glasses because my eyes and they ain't working right but I don't want to use a brown because like a like a true brown or like a taupey color just because it's gonna look kind of crazy um with the bright colors i think i want to go in with like a pink in my crease and then like smoke the pink out and then add um, some of the darker purples and then maybe a green but i might not put a green i might just put like a sparkly color um but we'll see like i said i don't know what i'm doing i'm gonna use this really hot pink I don't know if you guys can see how like hot pink it is, but we're gonna go with that. So I'm gonna like press this on my cream like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna create like a little cat eye with this too. So I'm gonna go out here, bring it into the crease like this and then bring it all the way in here. Now, I don't go like this with my crease. I kind of bring it straight out like this. Um, I don't know why I like to do that, but it just, I like the way it looks like that. So, and at first I was kind of like patting it onto my crease and then with whatever I have left on the brush, I was kind of blending it up as far. I don't want to blend it up too far because I don't want to lose that like eyebrow highlight. I do like to blend it up pretty high here though and like kind of like blending into my brow. And I'm just gonna keep a clean blending brush to just kind of blend and fluff through it to make sure it's really, really blended. Another blending brush, this is the JH35 brush. I'm gonna go in with the red in here, just this color right here. We're gonna put this in the crease as well, but we're not gonna go as high and we're not gonna make it as bright as the pink we just kind of want like a transition between the pink and then whatever color i put down next and i just want to deepen it a little bit And then you can always go back in with the pink if you feel like you've lost some. Just blend it out. Now we're gonna go in with some purples. Um, and I'm probably gonna go in with this purple right here and then deepen it up with this. Um, so we're gonna keep this in the crease, but we wanna keep it lower as well. And I'm using the JH36 brush. 
Okay, yeah, we're gonna go in with the dark purple with that same JH36 brush. I haven't been telling you guys the shade, but this dark purple is called Urbana. Um, I don't know if it's gonna show up as much. I might need a packing like brush for this. Okay, we're gonna take this um, airbrush shadow brush by It Cosmetics. And we're gonna try to pack this color on first, and then we're probably gonna need to blend it. Just with the fluffy brush, sometimes you can't get the color. It just kind of like makes the color fade away with the fluffy brush. So I'm gonna pack it on, and then we can go with a fluffy brush and kind of like blend it out. This isn't as deep of a purple that I wanted, so I'm gonna try finding a deeper purple. This one's the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm using this purple right here. It's a little bit deeper than the one that we used, and hopefully it'll work a little bit better. I'm not saying that this purple didn't work good, it was just too, it just wasn't as deep as I wanted it. If not, I can go in like with a black or something. Oh yeah, this one's a little bit, it's deepening it up. I'm gonna go back in with my other two brushes, kind of come back with that red and pink. We have kind of like our crease color laid out. I really do want to deepen it up a little bit more. So I might just, I think I'm gonna go in with the black. I'm gonna go in with some black. And kind of just put that right in the outer V just because I want to deepen it up but keep it really really low because we don't want to take away from that purple I do a cut crease but I'm kind of scared too because I've never really done a cut crease I usually just like lay the color on top you know what we're gonna do it we're gonna go for it so i'm gonna grab my concealer and i'm gonna use this jh43 brush to carve out my lid okay we're done with our cut crease okay then i I think I want to go with that purple jilted. I think I want to go with this purple right here just to like, I don't know, I like it. I like the way it looked in my crease. So we're just gonna go for it. Don't worry guys, I know it looks crazy, but we're gonna make sure to blend, okay? We're gonna blend it all in. I have this blush, oh crap. This blush by Wet n Wild, it's all broken, but you guys know it's one of my favorite blushes to use. And I think it's limited edition, but it's in this, it's a baked blush, and I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to try. But it's a lighter kind of pinky, purpley shade. So I'm going to take that on the other end of the brush, and we're going to put this in the inner corner to just kind of highlight it a little bit. So it won't just be all the way purple. And with the black, I'm also going to go and kind of try to blend together so it won't look so, like, crazy. I think I want to add some blue to this whole look. So I'm going to go in probably with Gonzo. It's more of a light blue. Oh, God, that is such a bright blue. I want to add it right above where I added that crease, that cut crease. I want to add it just to make it like, make it different. Because I feel like it's just all so pink. So I feel like it kind of looks funny. Let's just pretend like Leslie knows what she's doing. Because I don't. 
I don't think it's that bad, guys. I think we saved the look. I like the blue. Okay, I like the blue. Okay. I'm gonna use the lime green, which is this really bright green right here. Sorry, I'm holding everything so weird and ugly. Like, this is not cute at all. In the inner corner to just highlight it. There's a whole bunch of green flakes everywhere. Dust. The green isn't sticking. No, it's not sticking like I want it to. It's just kind of like dispersing everywhere. I kind of want to use this L'Oreal one. The L'Oreal Tree Match. I haven't used that one in a hot minute, but then it looks really olive on me, so it might not work. I'm going to add some of this um, Maybelline 24 Hour Foundation in 128 Nude Warm Nude. My foundation brush, which is a JH03 brush, and kind of just try to blend everything together. Now we're gonna add some concealer. I'm gonna mix concealers as well. I'm gonna use a Tarte Shape Tape in light medium, and I'm gonna mix it with the NYX Can't Stop Bone Stop Concealer in medium love, medium olive, medium olive, not medium love. <laughs> Let's see what I'm gonna do. Ah! And I'm gonna grab my sponge, wet it with a little bit of the Morphe setting spray. Blend all of this out. I'm going to use the Airspun Naturally Neutral, Neutral Powder. Um, and this is one of my favorite powders to use. I'm going to grab a ton of that and set my concealer, my nose, everything that I can possibly set. I'm gonna use Neutrogenia Skin Clearing Mineral Powder. Set the rest of our face. I kind of just go crazy with the setting powder. Time for bronzer. We're going to use the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm going to use the middle shade to bronze up my face and I'll probably use one of the side shades to like contour. I'm going to contour a little bit. We're going to go with this shade right here and mix a little bit of the shade. The banana shade in the middle, we're going to just snatch up our face with this, okay? So we're going to go in to the sides of our nose. Sure you have a straight line guys okay on my jaw right under that contour that we just did the lower lash line i think i just want to stick with like the purples grab this brush and i want to go in with just that jolted color on the lower lash line and we're gonna smoke it out. Oh, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of urban, which is that dark purple right there. And we're just gonna kind of tight line with this and keep it definitely towards the outer half of the eye. Now we're gonna wipe away this kind of highlight. Now we're gonna go in with some blush. And I'm using that blush that I showed you guys from Wet n Wild earlier. We're gonna highlight now and I'm gonna use my favorite highlight. You guys already know this. This is by Physicians Formula. It says limited edition, but I went to Walmart the other day and checked if they had it. They did. So this is um, highlighter in full moon. I want this beaming, so we're just gonna boop, boop, just a little bit of setting spray on there. Before I add any liner or any um, like mascara and stuff like that, I'm going to set my face with the Morphe setting continuous setting mist. Add some eyeliner. I'm using my favorite eyeliner. It's the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. My eyeliner is not perfect, like at all. I hate wearing falsies, so I'm not gonna wear falsies. Just gonna load my lashes up with some mascara. Y'all know my favorite mascara to use is the Lash Paradise Mascara. L'Oreal. 
for lips i'm gonna use two of my favorite products lorac alter ego lip liner in secret agent and then this is the maybelline superstay ink in seductress so i'm gonna line my my lips with the alter ego lip liner and then stick this right in the center um to kind of keep it neutral and not as crazy Okay guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys would like to see more colorful looks like this one, let me know in the description or in the comments down below. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.